His films are filled with adventure. That's incoming mail! Tough talk. Oh, you dirty double crossing. <laughs> and strong-willed characters. Have you ever heard a woman scream? No. They were made by one of Hollywood's toughest directors, William Wellman. One out of every three of you will be dead before you get to his California Valley. So if you're smart, you'll leave by that door. William Wellman's life itself was an adventure, and he infused his rugged individuals into more than 70 movies. Many are among the best films Hollywood ever produced. They called him Wild Bill. Now, a lot of people think he got that name um, during his career in Hollywood. Uh, actually, he got it in the First World War. He just kept it. He was a member of the Lafayette Flying Corps before America came into the war. Returning to the States in 1918, the young flyer looked up an old acquaintance, Douglas Fairbanks, who had once admired Wellman's tough style as a hockey player before the war. Fairbanks got him his first job in Hollywood, and soon Wellman set his sights on the director's chair. Within a few years, he achieved his goal. At the age of 29, Wellman directed the innovative 1926 action film that would receive the first Academy Award for Best Picture, Wings. When Wings came up and uh, Dad went after that job, and he was the only director in Hollywood that had uh, actual experience in the war as a flyer. I mean, this was probably the most expensive production made to that time to give it to a, uh, such a young director. But Dad got the job, and that's what got him off and running. Shortly after Wings, Wellman began to develop as an independent director with a very independent style. Money don't mean nothing to me. No, I guess not. But with no heart and no brains, it's all you've got. You'll need it. Why, you sneaking student. The areas that he had a problem with, of course, were producers, studio executives. He didn't want them coming on his sets or bothering him. He wanted to be able to go out and make his film the way he wanted to make it. All right, Freddie, you know you've been after the girl uh, unsuccessfully. So this time must be very tender, very earnest, and very sincere, and rather quiet. You already do? Right All right, roll up. Dad had it in his contract for A Star is Born that Selznick could only come on the set 12 times, and that's it. When if a producer stayed away, uh, they would be very happy because he would bring the show in on, on schedule. There wouldn't be any problems. If anybody from the, any executive came down and uh, read the riot act to any member of my father's crew or any problem with anybody, boy, he'd fight for them. I mean, he'd, he'd walk up and give him a short right hand. He knocked producers uh, absolutely flat on sets. You better get away from that train and let us on or somebody's gonna get hurt, see? Come on, Jack! Not surprisingly, there was a certain kind of actor that appealed to Wild Bill. He wanted Barbara Stanwyck, you know, who would hang out with the crew, or Carol Lombard, who could swear like any transportation captain. Uh, that's the kind of people he liked. Clark Gable and Cagney and, and uh, John Wayne. Uh, he loved them. They were, they were real people. What's that? That's you. You put that stuff on you? No, no, monsieur. Me, I drink it. Wellman wanted no-nonsense actors, ones that wouldn't balk when he put them in the midst of a blazing inferno or fired real bullets just inches from their head. But this rousing adventurer also excelled in sensitive melodrama, like the original 1937 A Star is Born, for which he won an Oscar. He even hit it big with a screwball comedy, Nothing Sacred. Oh, oh Lonnie, why, I didn't mean to do it, I didn't mean to do it, I, I love you, I love you. But by far, Wellman's best pictures were the ones that drew from his own life experiences. Oh, there ain't no use in going back. Jody's in the shack. Jody's got something you ain't got. It's been so long, I almost forgot. There was something about that bond, that friendship between men that my father really understood because I think going back to his war years. <laughs> something about being in combat together, you know, and, and seeing your, your, your friends being killed and going through that kind of an existence and surviving it. Any of my dad's films about fighting men, they're not heroes. They're not trying to be heroes or, you know, wave the flag or, or uphold some great idea. 
All they're trying to do is just survive from one day to the next. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Cadence count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The way Wild Bill Wellman, World War I flying ace, led his life was the way he worked. Approaching his filmmaking in a rough and tumble manner made him an innovator in the action genre. Because the adventure isn't just in the movies, it's also in the director who made them. Dedication is on display in military form as the 101st Airborne Division digs in to hold Allied lines despite trying times on the battleground. Sunday at 11.45 a.m., part of TCM's 24-hour Summer Under the Star salute to John Hodiak.